welcome to a new episode of Rusty Sheep. My name is Inez and I live in a city called Vetre, Belgium. If you're a new viewer, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Okay, this is actually the first time I'm um, recording with my new phone. Um, I decided that the camera in this phone is better than the one I had before. So yeah, let me just adjust it for a bit. Yeah, okay. So yeah, podcast. Um, first of all, welcome. <laughs> um, I don't have a lot of content today because um, yeah, March was buying no yarn <laughs> again. But I'm, yeah, I kind of I bought this. This is cotton. It's from Anel, and it's really thin. Look. And I would love to make a doily with it. This is also already a tryout. Let's see. Look. No, it's just a testing. Um, because I've been working on with this hook, really thin hook. It's a 1.5 or US 6 uh, crochet hook. Um, and I've been just trying out. You know, I ha I did download the um, the pattern. So I need to figure it out. I need to put my focus on it. And it's also been a while since I crocheted. So my wrist is, sorry, not used to the movement anymore. So, well, so it's, it's not really yarn, is it? If it is, if you think it is, that means I didn't succeed in no buying yarn. And actually I forgot about it. Like, Last weekend, yeah, I went to um, a, like a general store because I've been repotting all my plants. And you can see I have a lot of plants here and I've been repotting all my plants and I needed extra pots, like really big pots. And um, well, yeah, and I was like, oh, yeah, they have Anel, my favorite brand, my go to brand. I was like, oh, yeah, I would love to make a doily. And then when the time I got home, when I bought this, uh, when I bought this, I was like, all right, I wasn't allowed to buy yarn. So for me, yarn, this is not yarn. This is cotton. Oh, and I dropped the ball. This is cotton. Um, but some people will disagree. But you know what? Sorry. For me, this isn't yarn. You know, this is cotton, this is to try something, this is testing, no? I know, I can't get myself out of this, but um, but I didn't buy any quantities, jumper quantities. I did make an order. I haven't paid it yet, so I, technically I haven't bought it yet. But um, I did send an email to Tollowall in February asking for a colorway that I wanted in a brand that I wanted. And it's from Norway, so it takes a while uh until it gets here and actually i, t I emailed her this week, week asking how my um uh, shopping list is going how my yarn was going but she didn't reply yet so maybe i should text her again um so i'm very proud okay i did have moments that i wanted to buy yarn uh, but gladly I keep myself busy, um, starting a new job, started studying again. Um, I was supposed to start in April, but then I decided to start sooner because that means that my exams will end sooner and otherwise I'll be having exams during the summer um, and I didn't feel like that. So um, yeah, I, I already graduated as a coach, actually a life coach, but that was a basic and now I'm doing the full, um, the expanded version, the expert version and um, it's very technical, it's very deep also into psychology. Um, this is for like helping people with addictions and like people who have a, um, um, a bad family structure or bad family uh, environments and it's really deeper and helping people with those issues. Now. I would like to explain a bit why the addiction part was appealing to me because my previous boyfriend, um, he was addicted to cocaine. It is not something I like to talk about, but I thought maybe it was okay to share now because it's been a while. We've been apart for more than a year now. So, and I've been dealing with uh, about that. I've been dealing about it. So 
what happens when I when we first met I never knew you know um, people with addictions are really good in hiding things and yeah you know and honestly I do think there was a part of me who didn't want to see it so um, yeah all hell broke loose at the end of course the whole cocaine thing and for me I don't know how it is because I've never done that so and I don't have any interest in doing that so for me that is a hard no and being with somebody living with somebody who has an addiction and he's lying about it yeah it's not a good idea so honestly um it was the hardest thing I, that i had to do um leaving him while i was still in love with him while you know you want to take care of a person i i wanted to save him as well like somewhere i wanted to help him with the whole addiction but he wasn't ready he didn't feel like it so i had to respect that and also i had to keep my myself safe because yeah at the while you know it's not a healthy environment anymore so yeah for me also i, I couldn't grasp you know um i remember one of the last fights we had is like he was lying about it how much he was using and then i i you know i'm a dramatic person as well sometimes and i gave him him an ultimatum never do that with a person who has an addiction because the addiction will win unless that person is willing and he's fed up with it himself or herself with the addiction and they really want to get rid of it then maybe it could be a possibility uh, but so it wasn't in my case. I gave him an uh, ultimatum. Uh, it, I got an answer I didn't really expect from him. So yeah, we broke up. It was one of the hardest things in life. Uh, in life, no, it's sorry. One of the hardest things I've done um, at that time. Um, and also make me question a lot. Like I remember that day that he chose cocaine over me. My self-esteem was so low. I really broke down. I was like, I stood there. I was like, but I'm a person. I'm, I'm, I'm a person. This is drugs. And at that time, I couldn't grasp the whole addiction, how bad it was and how weird, you know, addiction will always win. <laughs> So well, but I, I, I am a person, if something bad happens, I try to find the positive thing in it. For me, it changed me a lot. Like um, I was, my self-esteem was so low. I was like, how could a person do that to me? And I, you know, I hit rock bottom, honestly. The end of 2019, beginning of 2020, I hit rock bottom. And then I picked myself up again because he yeah, had the operation I had and uh, I had to be strong mentally. Like, I need to go through this. I need to do this. I need to get myself ready. And I started meditating, doing sports. I was like um, going to trainings about um, having a healthy life. Like, I did a lot, you know. Start reading books about self-care, uh, self-esteem. Um, I, I'm now finishing up Healing from the Inner Child. Mind you, that was a really interesting book. Um, yeah, uh, it, it turned out, it turns out that I have a lot of stuff buried. <laughs> and I'm a person, you know, if something happens, I wallow a bit, I, I feel sad a bit, but then after a while, I just pick myself up again. I'm very um, bouncy, I'm very strong in, in my own way. And um, healing of inner child, yeah, it did make me feel things that I haven't felt in ages. Um, a lot of memories came back from when I was a child. Um, and I said before, it's not because I had a, a, a childhood, I wouldn't say a bad childhood, because now I see things differently. But at that time, as a child, I did feel it as bad. But now being an adult, I was like seeing the situation differently. I can understand certain things of my childhood, okay? Um, I do wish I could talk about it with my mom. She has, she's passed away. So those are discussions I won't be able to have anymore. But it's okay. I've, I've, you know, I have put it down and I put it down. No, I gave it a place. 
Okay, 10 minutes babbling. No, sorry, that wasn't a meeting. But when I'm, the, 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 what I'm trying to say here is that always choose yourself. <laughs> That's like the main reason. That is the main goal. Always choose yourself. Um, always think of yourself first because I'm a people pleaser. I, I'm, I want to save people. I, I want to help people. But when you give all your energy away, you don't have energy for yourself anymore. And that's what I learned the last year, almost year and a half. And I'm so happy and I'm really proud of myself. You know, got a new job, you know, moved to my house. Um, yeah, enough about that subject. Sorry, you're not here to, to hear about my life and my weird life that I have. So um, another view today, and I really like this view. Um, you can see my place plants my plants everywhere um yes um what i would yeah i bought a desk um actually today um and it was a heavy desk and the people helped me get it loaded in my car but then i had an issue because i live by myself and had to wish to get it out of my out of the car myself i did manage that but then i had to screw on the feet and um, I'm sorry, I got a message on my phone. I had to screw on the, the legs of the, the desk and I had to call my neighbor because it was heavy to lift it up again. So, but yeah, um, my new desk and I love it. And um, yeah, I'm really happy I, I bought the desk. Um, it took me a while because um, it had to be the right fit. Also, I can use it afterwards for my knitting machine. Um, and I placed it so I can, while I'm doing the knitting machine, I can watch some telly. <laughs> if after a while, you know, I haven't started yet. So hopefully I can start that maybe not next weekend because next weekend I'm going away for the weekend with my friend Lisa. She's turning 30 and uh, she wasn't planning anything for her 30th birthday. And I thought, you know, we need to get away. And it's Easter, Easter weekend. So I booked a cabin and we're going away for the weekend. So um, this I showed you. This I showed you. Um, I've been working. Last episode I showed you, I just started my cherry puff from Skinger Knits. Look at that. Do, 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 boom, 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 boom. It's almost a jumper. It fits perfectly. Still need to do the neck, um, decreasing for the sleeves. I am a bit worried it's still that loose, but we'll see. If not, you know, I will do one. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm dead on with my stitch count, it's correct. But um, yeah, I will try it and see. And I'll, otherwise I'll just pick up less stitches and recalculate, it doesn't matter. And I still need to do the other sleeve, but well, look at that. And also the color, I'm so in love with the color. <sighs> well, da -da -da. okay. Um, so mainly that is it. That's my content. No, actually, I still have a sock. I finished the sock. <laughs> oh, I'm being stupid today. Okay, whatever. God, look at that. Zooming home for Christmas. And I did start the other one. Let me see. Yeah, it's just still still the beginning. Just finished the toe. Um, honestly, actually, I want to finish this, but I don't think I have enough time. Now I won't have enough time unless. Oh, can I? Yeah, I actually want to make make a pair of socks for Lisa's birthday, but that's in a week, and I still need to finish those. I can use other needles, but I don't like them, so I'd rather have those. Needles, my Chaiko needles. That means I need to finish that one first. Could it be? I know I can sometimes knit a sock in two days. So technically I have... I'm not even trying to calculate it. Maybe that should be... Maybe just try this. And it's on Sunday. So technically I have eight days. I could do that. Yeah. I could do that. 
who knows? <laughs> we'll, you will see in the next episode if it worked. You know, I bought some um, After 8 colorway, really nice blue colorway I showed in the last episode. And she really loved that. And I can make two pair of socks out of it. And um, it's also an inside joke between me and Lisa After 8. We love to eat those chocolates. We always treat ourselves when we meet. Like um, normally on Fridays we do tapas. And uh, we have dessert. Or we have biscuits. Or macaroons. Uh, yeah we treat ourselves we're good friends we always treat ourselves so but yeah um i actually um her gift is going away for the weekend for 30th but you know otherwise i won't have any gift you know uh, a, a gift that she can unwrap and i know she would love some woolen socks because where she lives, uh, her floor is really cold. It's stone floor. She ha she does live in an older uh, house. Um, it's a beautiful house, but you know, typical stone floors and, and you always need to wear slippers when you're with her. And I actually made a joke like, oh, maybe I should make you some socks. She was like, oh yeah, for my birthday. And then I was like, yeah, that could be an idea. But now a week before her birthday, I think of this. Oh, but, uh, okay, I just thought of something. Um, yeah, well, well, we'll do that. Who knows, who knows? I can tell you the next episode that it worked, that I can just made a pair of socks. Maybe I should just put blockers on this one. I have chai gu needles now, I have a whole set, I have other wires, so yeah, why not? Just leave that aside for a bit and just start knitting on her socks. I will do that. I will do that right now after this episode while I'm editing this episode. Okay, you know, 17 minutes I've been babbling. I've been telling random things, not really knitting related. Um, I think I'm done for today. I'm sorry, you you really bared with me for too long. So yeah, hopefully next episode more content and I would w would like to wish you uh, a very happy knitting day. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.